kind of the Super Bowl for stargazing. The Perseid meteor shower, one of the biggest sky watching events of the year, and it's happening this weekend. We're going to talk about it with Paul M. Sutter. He's an astrophysicist with The Ohio State University and the Flatiron Institute. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So tell us why the Perseids is one of the best meteor showers of the year. Yeah, the Perseids is an amazing sky watching opportunity because one, there's a lot of meteors. We're talking up to a hundred an hour. That's one or two every minute across the sky. And two, it's August in the nighttime, which means it's not miserable outside and you're not freezing and you can actually spend a few hours and enjoy the entire meteor shower. So some people would prefer the, uh, the cool weather, I think, a little bit over the heat, but hey, I'm all for a heat, hot summer nights. So what are we actually looking at, Paul, when we look at this meteor shower in particular? This meteor shower, so meteor showers in general are comet poop. When comets come racing into the inner solar system, they break apart and leave behind debris trails, and then the Earth slams into the, all that debris. And this particular meteor shower, the Perseids, is the leftover debris from the comet Swift Tuttle. That is a very, very memorable way of looking at meteors. I'm never looking <laughs> at a meteor shower the same way ever again. So is this one you can see with the naked eye or do you need a telescope? Oh, actually, you want to enjoy meteor showers with the naked eye because they come from all sorts of directions on the sky. And uh, binoculars or a telescope, it's too zoomed in. You'll be looking at too small of a patch. So just lay back, look at the sky, soak it all in, and, and keep an eye out for them. All right, so where should we be looking at the sky for the Perseids? Are we looking at the north, south, east, or west? Right, the meteors will tend to point in the direction of the northeast in the constellation Perseus, hence the name Perseids, but really they'll appear all over the sky. There is going to be a near full or full moon over the next few days, so try to look away from that so you get some good night vision so it's the darkest part of the sky and just camp out there for a while. Well, let's talk about something else that had people watching the sky this week, the launch of an Atlas V rocket carrying a new communication satellite for the U.S. Air Force. Now, the launch happened Thursday in Cape Canaveral, Florida, but what really had people talking was this, like, cool jellyfish effect that left in the sky. Can you yeah. explain what happened with that? Yeah, isn't this so pretty? So this okay. happens every once in a while. This is when we have launches near dawn or dusk. When us at ground level are in the shadow, we don't get to the, see the sun, but then the the rocket itself is illuminated by the sun because it's high enough, and it leaves condensation trails just like an airplane does, which get illuminated and look very pretty. And then when one stage separates from another, there's a a burst of air that leaves that jellyfish pattern and these are so cool to see that is awesome you know i grew up in florida and, and saw several rockets kind of re yeah. uh, appear back into the atmosphere did this one have a, a sonic boom is that typical with most uh you know landing rockets Oh, yeah, man, when these rockets go off, they're going tens of thousands of miles per hour, and there are some serious sonic booms. I used to live in Florida, too, and you could hear them from uh, tens of miles away. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, and if you didn't cool. realize that was going on, it yeah. almost scared you because a lot of car <laughs> alarms go off, and you that's think it's true. really loud. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to have to go to Florida now. To yeah, to witness like one. That. Exactly. Paul M. Sutter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Very cool to talk to you. A meteor Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> comet poop. A comet poop. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time I can say I've heard that. All right, well, let's get a look here at your viewing conditions, though, across the yeah. country. And cloud cover is going to be an inhibiting factor, certainly in some parts of the country, especially here in the southwest, where you would expect to have clear skies. But with the monsoon season back up and running, we are going to have pretty cloudy skies, unfortunately, across parts of Arizona mm -hmm. and New Mexico. But by Sunday night, yeah. improving conditions. So the Grand Canyon might not be a bad yeah. spot. And even parts of the Northeast, you know, you look in pretty nice, 16% cloud cover uh, in New York, 26% in Charlotte. So the Eastern Seaboard, not looking too shabby. And of course, this continues through the entire weekend. You can even catch it uh, on Monday night as well. The West really clearing up by this point. Well,